Hi everybody, Stevie here from Never Too Late to Travel. Come further on now from the uh, Golden Buddha on the mountain and uh, come down here to uh, Castello di uh, Bellagio, which, uh, in, to all intents and purposes, is just a fantastic restaurant uh, in a fantastic setting. Uh, and I believe it's of an Italian design. I did come down yesterday with some friends and had a look around. I was quite impressed with the place. Uh, the 200 baht admission fee to go into a restaurant, I'll leave it up to you to decide uh, after you've seen the video if it's worth it. So with that, uh, there's a gateway in front of us. We're going to go through there, pay the 200 baht, and uh, I'll show you what there is uh, to offer here. If you're passing uh, on this way uh, to Silver Lake, it uh, might be worth popping in for you. Uh, but anyway, watch the video and uh, see what you like and dislike. So uh, here we've arrived at the uh, Castello di Baraggio, or however you uh, pronounce it. I will put the title on the bottom of the video for these uh, hard to pronounce places. Uh, as you can see, set in some uh, stunning grounds and uh, quite some uh, ornative architecture. This, I believe, is the uh, cafe and uh, coffee uh, house that uh, we went into yesterday that's quite interesting do some fantastic desserts in there so uh, well I'll take you in there later first of all I'll take you through to the main restaurant area because the function of this place uh, is actually uh, uh, top uh, top class restaurants so uh, let's go and have a look at that, I'll show you around there. I think you'll be uh, completely surprised at the uh, prices that they charge here. But uh, it remains to, to be seen if you like it or not. I did walk this place yesterday, it's uh, quite a steep little road this to the restaurant uh, but there are some fantastic views when we arrive up here I'm just hoping that uh, the GoPro battery is going to last out today and as you can see from where we've walked you're starting to see some great scenery. Nice water fountain there. must have cost an absolute fortune to uh, develop this place that's uh, probably why they uh, insist on the 200 baht cover charge to come in so I'll show you inside the restaurant area So as we head into the uh, main restaurant through these impressive uh, wooden doors we enter into an absolutely fantastic restaurant area which uh, gives the impression that you're in a very very uh, old establishment but uh, in reality probably the uh, furniture is uh, quite modern and uh, just reproduction but nevertheless an outstanding uh, restaurant area with some fine uh, figures and uh, some lovely chandeliers and from there we shall go through the double doors uh, we'll come back to the restaurant later and uh, we'll have a walk out into the courtyard seating area 
Now this is just to the side of the main restaurant area. Uh, obviously met here by uh, an impressive menu. Not the cheapest I've seen, but then again you get what you pay for. Outstanding uh, seating area with some absolutely wonderful views over the surrounding countryside. You can't really fault the location uh, and the views from uh, this restaurant. It really, really is uh, top notch. Looking over the uh, balcony here, you can see these little dome seating areas. Uh, quite extensive in number so you can either choose to come into the main restaurant uh, area or you can uh, participate in uh, dining with your friends in the garden area it's entirely your choice and what an impressive building this is from the outside I mean look at the glasswork and uh, the features of this building they really really are impressive lovely lovely grounds and uh, still under construction in many places so uh, it will give you an idea of how much work there is still to complete and it will also give you a, an idea of uh, how impressive it's going to be once completed. I was very very surprised actually coming here and just seeing how beautiful this building is and uh, the amount of work that has actually been completed uh, it really is beyond belief so as we leave the uh, outside area uh, the stairway is uh, out of bounds to us unfortunately so we, we can't go up there but this is the uh, shopping area and uh, you'll see some nice cheeses, wines and uh, beef in here little bit uh, beyond my purchasing power to be uh, quite honest uh, my pockets uh, are full enough to uh, buy anything here wine is uh, very very good quality but uh, obviously you're going to have to pay the uh, premium uh, to buy it if you'd like to buy a tomahawk steak there you can certainly get one for about 8,900 baht and uh, there's cuts of meat there that are in excess of uh, 10,000 baht each. So that gives you an idea of the standard of the establishment, my friends. It uh, caters for the uh, people with a little bit more in money than I have, or uh, it caters for the people that uh, are out celebrating uh, special occasions, or maybe a corporate event, I'm not really sure. Very, very impressive. So what we do guys, we'll walk back through the uh, restaurant area, try not to disturb the uh, dining guests and uh, head out and uh, I'll show you a little bit more of the grounds here. So let's uh, give respect to the people dining and uh, keep the hot air out from the restaurant area by closing the doors and uh, we'll gradually walk our way up here to the right and uh, have a look at the uh, new construction building uh, that's underway at the moment. They obviously have a membership 
uh, to this place and uh, they have individual car parking spaces outside so uh, if you come to dine here you don't have the privilege of uh, hiking up the big hill outside of the restaurant And this big hall-like building is uh, still under construction uh, of the interior uh, and I can assure you once it's completed it's going to look absolutely amazing. What I'd like to do if possible if the doors open is just walk straight through and uh, have a look at the views over the surrounding countryside from the balcony. I want you to ask permission of the uh, people that uh, are doing the construction if I could actually walk through but there's nobody here to ask and the uh, doors are open so uh, we're not going to interfere with any of the renovation or uh, construction works uh, we'll just proceed to the uh, outside and uh, have a look at the uh, views in the distance there is uh, a mountain with the uh, golden uh, buzzer uh, golden butter uh, laser figure etched into the mountainside uh, I will do a video of that later uh, previously visited yesterday and uh, friends of mine were really astounded by it did notice to the side here there is looks like some uh, water parks uh, being built uh, in the distance now i don't know whether they belong to this restaurant or if they're a separate uh, entity but uh, hopefully once everything's completed you better dine and then go down to a water park not entirely sure sure guys at the moment so uh, don't take my word for it So before we head into the uh, cafe and uh, coffee house, uh, this is a quick view of the outside of the uh, restaurant and the dining areas and uh, we're going to go straight across the road and uh, I'll show you what's inside. It is uh, midweek, so there's not many people around, but uh, I have been informed that uh, weekends this place, uh, regardless of the uh, cost of uh, food here, gets very, very uh, busy. Came into this uh, cafe, uh, come restaurant coffee house yesterday with my friends and uh, we had some nice coffee and uh, some cake and uh, very nice it was too they do some extremely uh, fancy uh, catering work and again decked out in a kind of antique style with a very impressive walkway in a, uh, a diamond pattern and at the far end uh, you can uh, watch the uh, pastry chefs at work uh, icing and uh, decorating various uh, catering works good selection of uh, snacks and desserts there staff here very very friendly and very very helpful and uh, Nobody uh, appears to mind uh, that uh, you're videoing or uh, taking pictures. I think uh, by now that uh, they're getting quite used to the uh, people coming in and uh, they probably appreciate the publicity that it brings with it. And again, you can see outside the windows there is some barren land and uh, it only uh, leads to uh, being able to imagine what the place is going to look like once complete. To be honest, uh, I know it's a 200 baht admission fee, 
but uh, for me for this video I think it's well worthwhile and uh, I've been very 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 impressed with the uh, building and uh, the restaurant facilities so from me I have no complaints at all I'll leave it to, up to you to make up your own mind on that the question is would I come and visit it again certainly I would uh, bring uh, friends and uh, family to have a look around and have a coffee if we didn't eat uh, because actually to see the building and uh, the interior of this cafe restaurant uh, is uh, quite a unique experience so that my friends it's uh, time to head off and uh, go find another uh, venue to uh, video So my friends, that brings us to the end of uh, our quick walk around the Castello di Baraggio. Uh, I do hope you found it interesting. For me, a little bit on the pricey side for my pocket, but uh, for those who like to, a little bit of indulgence while you're on holiday, why not? So with that, my friends, take care of yourselves. We'll uh, head on to the next location, which is Saikal Beach, and uh, we'll do a little uh, tour of that before we head back to uh, Jomtin. Don't forget to like, subscribe and uh, leave comments where necessary and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye.